Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Well, this is lecture 34 of basic calculus 1. So, remember we are discussing how to compute the volumes of solids of revolution. So, there we came to Wasser method that is the last thing we considered and then uh, we will give another alternative method to compute the volume of solids of revolution that is called by cylindrical cells. In fact, we will be going through the Riemann sums again, but in a different way. So, we will see how to address this issue. Okay. So, let us consider this. Say we have a curve y equal to f of x, it is continuous y equal to f of this function is continuous and it remains positive inside the interval a to b. So, now we have the area which is area of the region. The region is bounded by x equal to a on the left, x equal to b line on the right and uh, the x axis on the below and uh, y equal to f of x on the top. Now, this region is revolved say around, uh, around y axis x equal to 0 line. So, this is revolved. So, we obtain the solid which is on the second picture and it is having a hole. The hole is a cylindrical hole now that it generated from minus a to a right. So, this is how it comes. So, now uh, we have the solid for this solid of course, we can use Wasser method as earlier it will be going like this the sum of all these things. But instead of that, we want to apply another idea. What we do here? We think of the uh, think of approximating the volume of the solid in this fashion. Look at the fourth picture down. So, here what we do? We divide the interval uh, say a to b into many smaller parts. On each smaller part, we choose a point say c i from the interval x i minus 1 to x i then approximate the volume below that curve and bounded by this in the total one which is a cylinder right a portion of a cylinder uh, by uh, taking this step wise fashion the cylinders. So, now what happens on the third picture you will find one typical cylindrical cell is given. So, that cell really approximates the volume say the slice of the volume which is generated over this and this way right only that slice which is approximated by this uh, rectangle on this region we have chosen a rectangle of c i width and height is of course, f of c i. Now, this is the cylindrical cell we will be getting where the height is f of c i and its width is x i minus x i minus 1. Now, we try to see that this volume whatever we want to compute is approximated by the sum of these cylindrical cells that is the idea really. So, once it is approximated of course, if x i minus uh, x i minus 1 that length goes to 0 then c i is in between them. So, that the sum of these cells should be giving us the volume that is the idea of the uh, procedure. So, now the thing is we should be able to compute this volume of the cylindrical cells. So, look at the step wise fashion 
each cell is here of course it is done by some by taking some length xi and xi minus 1 so now how to implement this idea how to get this approximation of course you have any volume of the cylindrical cell equal to ci which is this height uh, this uh, ci is a point inside xi minus xi minus 1 and then f of ci is that height so width is xi minus xi minus 1 height is this one and then how to get the volume of the cylindrical cell we should go for how big is it so it is really the circumference times any this area so that would give uh, say the radius we may take circum to get the circumference we take the radius here so you have to get this radius which is computed from the line of or uh, the axis of revolution here it is y axis from there we compute this length so that that becomes the radius of the cell and the height is f of ci okay and the width is xi minus xi minus 1 so that gives us how to compute the volume of the cylindrical cell okay so let us go to the beginning what we want to do is we divide the interval ab into n sub intervals so that means we choose a partition a points x0 x1 to xn x0 equal to a xn equal to b and we have the partition of the interval into sub intervals now from each sub interval xi minus 1 to xi we will choose a point ci just as in your uh, definition of the integral definite integral so we choose a point ci and obtain this choice set then we see that cylindrical cell is having say uh, of height f of xi so this is revolved around it so you may say ci instead of going to f of xi and f of xi minus 1 we choose that point ci so this will have a height f of ci and thickness is xi minus xi minus 1 right and the radius of that cylindrical cell is uh, radius of the cylindrical cell is uh, ci therefore the any circumference if you take along that ci it will be 2 pi ci so the volume of the cylindrical cell will be 2 pi ci times f of ci into xi minus xi minus 1 you can again go back to the picture so here what happens you have taken ci and the radius is really this one which is on the x axis it is ci and then its uh, height is f of ci and the width of the cell is xi minus xi minus 1 so that gives the volume of the cylindrical cell as 2 pi ci into f of ci into xi minus xi minus 1 so now the idea our idea if you implement it says that we should take the sum of all these volumes of the cylindrical cells to get an approximation for the volume of the solid of revolution so that is what the approximation is it is summation i from 1 to n 2 pi ci f of ci into xi minus xi minus 1 so now we use the limiting process to get the uh, correct volume so in that case we take the norm of the partition as earlier it is maximum of xi minus xi minus 1 and we take the limit of this summation limit of the sum of all these cylindrical cell volumes where norm p goes to 0. So, now you recognize that it is really a Riemann sum. So, that turns out to be the definite integral where the function is 2 pi x f of x. From this you get 2 pi ci f of ci xi minus xi minus 1. So, that is the Riemann sum if the limit exists then that limit must be equal to the integral a to b. 2 pi x f of x dx. So, what are these quantities here? It is really uh, the circumference which gives 2 pi into ci. So, that means x this x is the uh, radius of the cell f of xi is the height of the cell. So, it is integral a to b 2 pi times radius of the cell into height of the cell. 
So, now this abstraction will really help because sometimes we will not take y equal to 0 y axis as the um, axis of revolution, but some other point let us say x equal to l which is parallel to y axis. Then in that case the radius will be uh, x minus l right. Suppose it is x and the line is x equal to l here then the radius will be x minus l instead of x. So, if this line is uh, on the other side say x equal to minus l, l is positive then the radius should be x minus minus l that is x plus l that is the distance that should be the radius. So, this heuristic will help us say instead of taking the axis of revolution as the y axis suppose you take the vertical line x equal to l as the axis of revolution. So, in that case the radius of the cell will be x minus l instead of x. Then the volume of the solid so generated. So, what is the detail? This volume is obtained by revolving the region between the x axis, the graph of the continuous function y equal to f x, where f x is greater than or equal to 0 and x lies between 0 and uh, a and b, l is say less than or equal to a in that case is x minus l. So, about a vertical line x equal to l. So, that will be the integral of a to b that should be a 2 pi here. Integral a to b 2 pi cell radius into cell height dx. So, this really should be the correct formula which we should memorize. Of course, understanding comes from the sum of the cylindrical cells integral a to b 2 pi cell radius cell height d x that should give us the result. Okay, so, let us take an example see how it is executed. So, here uh, we have a region the region is bounded by the parabola y equal to 3 x minus x square. So, this is the parabola y equal to 3 x minus x square in blue 0 0 is a point on it and then 3 comma 0 is a point on it if you put 3 it becomes 0 y is 0. So, it crosses the x axis at 2 points x equal to 0 and x equal to 3. So, the region is bounded by the parabola and the x axis that is why this is the painted region and this region is revolved about the line x equal to minus 1 this is the line in pink that is how you get the hole corresponding to this interval 0 to 1 in the solid. Okay. So, now to obtain this volume of the solid of revolution of course, you could have worked with Wasser method, but now you want to see that how it will be approximated or it will be computed uh, by taking the cylindrical cell method. So, now this is the region which is revolved around it then what happens in this since this is the uh, way it is revolved around your uh, if you take any point c inside this x. So, the radius of revolution will be that c plus 1 right if the length is from this to this c plus 1. So, it is c minus minus 1 according to our formula. So, that gives the radius of uh, uh, the cylindrical cell as uh, c plus 1. So, when you go to the integral thus radius at any point x will be x plus 1 and what is the height? Height is obtained from the solid really. So, it is from the curve this is the height. So, that is f of x which is y really. So, that will be 3 x minus x square that is the cell height. Then what is the limit for the uh, x where x varies from 0 to 3. So, we have the volume as the integral right 0 to 3. 2 pi x plus 1 is the cell radius and 3 x minus x square is the cell height. So, cell is taken at any point x that is how we are looking at it. So, the volume will be 0 to 3 integral 2 pi x plus 1 3 x minus x square. So, now that we compute so 2 pi goes out 0 to 3 and we multiply this x plus 1 with 3 x minus x square to get uh, 3 x square minus x square. So, that gives 2 x square plus 3 x and minus x cubed. So, when you integrate so that should give you the integral 
that is 2x square gives 2 by 3 x cubed plus 3x gives 3 by 2 x square and x cubed gives x fourth by 4. This expression is to be evaluated at 0 and 3. So, at 0 it is 0. So, essentially at 3 we evaluate it and that should turn out to be 45 pi by 2. So, of course, at this point you should take time and compute the same volume by Wasser method. See that that also complies with this you will get the same answer 45 by 2 into pi. Okay. Let us take another example. In this example, we have the region bounded by the x axis, x axis the line x equal to 4, this is the line and the curve y equal to root x. So, this is the curve y equal to root x, right? is the parabola x equal to y square. So, in the first quadrant, because we take y equal to root x, y should be positive and there is nothing to the left, we are taking 0 to 4. So, it is in the automatically in the first quadrant. Now, this region which is painted blue here is revolved about the x axis. So, it is not about y axis, it is revolved about y x axis now. This is the direction of uh, revolving it. So, we get the solid on the right side, we want to find the volume of the solid of this revolution. Of course, it will be something like a uh, portion of the parabola. So, now how to get its volume? As earlier, we have to find the cell and the sum of those cells will give rise to the integral. So, at any point, uh, this will be it is revolving around uh, x axis. So, we have to express that in terms of y, everything should be expressed in terms of y. Now, the curve is x equal to y square. So, you take any point y. So, at that point, the cell radius it is revolved this way. So, solid is on this side. So, that gives the radius. So, the cell radius is this distance. So, this distance is really y. So, y is the cell radius. And what is the cell height? So, cell height is computed from this. So, this is the line which is the cell height. And what is that cell height? We have the curve as x equal to y square. So, at this point this is y square this distance and total is 4. So, it is 4 minus y square. right? So, cell height is 4 minus y square, cell radius is y and y varies from 0 to 2. Therefore, we uh, look at the integral directly. So, the integral will be 0 to 2, 2 pi y is the cell radius and cell height is 4 minus y square dy. So, that is the volume. Now, we compute this. So, 2 pi goes out and this is 4 y, 4 y as the integral as 2 y square and minus y cubed which has the integral as y fourth by 4 with minus sign. So, evaluated that as 2 essentially that 0 it is 0. So, at 2 that turns out to be 8 times pi. So, again you should verify the result by using the Wasser method or here it is not really Wasser, it is really disk. So, you may say it is by disk method right? because there is no hole in the solid, it is uh, the x axis is bordering the region. So, you will get the disk method. Verify by disk method that the answer is really 8 pi. Okay. So, let us take another example. Now, here r is the region in the first quadrant that is already given. So, we have the first quadrant. What is that? It is enclosed by the curve x equal to 12 y square minus y cubed. So, 12 into y square minus y cubed is the curve and the line segment joining the origin and the point 0 1. So, the point 0 1 is here on the y axis. So, this is the region, it is the curve 12 into y square minus y cubed and the line the portion of y axis from 0 to 1. Okay, so, this is this is the region which is painted blue here. 
Now, you want to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving this region R about the line y equal to 8 by 5. So, y equal to 8 by 5 stays somewhere here 8 by 5. Now, this is revolved around uh, that line. So, this is the line where it is revolved, it is revolved around this. Okay. So, once this region is revolved around that, there will be a hole corresponding to y equal to 1 to y equal to 8 by 5 in the solid. Right? So, you can again use Wasser method, but we want to use the uh, this new method which we say that it is cylindrical cell method. So, what about the cylindrical cells? Cylindrical cells will be described by taking small partitions here. So, it will be something like this. right? So, they will be generated like this, those cells are approximated. So, in that case your cell radius will be equal to you take any point y. So, from there this is the center of that uh, cell. So, from there you get the cell radius as this distance. If this is y, the other one is y, then the cell radius is that. So, that means 8 y 5 minus y. And what is the cell height? Cell height will be at that y, what is this point on the curve? So, this is x, the corresponding x that should be the cell height, right. And where does y go? It is from 0 to 1. Therefore, volume is equal to integral 0 to 1, 2 by pi, the cell radius which is 8 by 5 minus y and the cell height which is 12 into y square minus y cubed dy. So, that is the integral we get for the volume of the uh, solid of revolution. Now, it is just a matter of integrating it. So, let us integrate. Uh, it is 12 is there. So, 2 is there. We take 24 pi outside integral 0 to 1 and multiply 8 by 5 minus y with y square minus y cubed. That gives 8 by 5 y square minus 13 by 5 y cubed plus y fourth. So, 8 by 5 y square integral is 8 by 15 y cubed and 13 by 5 y cubed gives 13 by uh, 20, 4 is multiplied y fourth and y fourth is y fifth by 5. So, this is to be evaluated at 0 and 1. So, at 1 essentially gives the result that turns out to be 2 times pi. So, it is an exercise for you again to verify that this is the same when you take the use the Wasser method. right? In the Wasser method there is a hole in the solid corresponding to 1 to 8 by 5. So, the Wassers will be generated this way and then summed over to get the volume. 